Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer working as a Solutions Architect in Azure. Today we are going to learn about another new topic. We will see how to retrieve secrets from Azure Key Vault and use that in our BICEP script. I am inside Azure SQL database related by subscript and here while creating the resource called SQL Server we have hard coded administrator login and password. Saving passwords in plain text is definitely not a recommended practice. You always should refer these secrets from some something called as key vault so key vault is an azure service which helps us in managing secrets all right let's understand how to integrate key vault into bicep scripts but before that we need to parameterize the administrative login and password instead of hard coding them in the scripts. Let me create parameters. I am going to create two parameters, one for login and the other one for password. Now here, password is a special thing, right? It's a secure thing. So for secure or sensitive items, there is a special data type called secure string. If you notice, when you choose secure string, it is also a string, but there will be an attribute called secure. So that's it on here and you refer these variables instead of hard coding them within the code. Let's save the changes. Now we need to pass these two values, these two parameters from main.bicep. So we also need to have the same parameters even in main.bicep. Let me paste them here and let's pass the values here. So P, administrative login. So I am using the same parameters. All right. So even in main, we have parameterized administrator login and administrator login password. Now we need to ensure that main receives these two files, these two parameters from our parameters.json. So we need to create two more parameters. Let me copy paste them twice. So we need to change these parameter names. So let me copy them from main. The administrator login and then the administrator login password. There are some errors, let's see, expected comma, right? So, need to make sure that there is a comma between parameters. Now we can change these values. SQL admin would be our username or login and login password would be 
some secure string. So this should be sufficient if you want to still hard code it. But as we already discussed, it is not recommended to hard code the password as a plain text. Right? Instead of that, we need to refer the secret which is stored in Azure Key Vault service. I have already created a Key Vault service in Azure and I have already created a secret within the Key Vault. So let's head over to Azure Management Portal and see the secret. This is the Azure Management Portal in which I have created a Key Vault already and a secret as well. Now let me click on this secret. Currently there is only one version of the secret. Let me click on this and you see the secret here and let me show that it's test at the rate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we would like to refer this secret from here. We don't want to hard code the secret in our parameters.json but we are going to refer this secret in our bicep scripts. So let's understand how to do that now. Alright, uh, if we want to pass a plain text, this is the syntax for passing a plain text as a parameter. Right? But we don't want this, we want to refer the value from a reference called key vault. Right? So I'm going to delete this but let's keep it for some time. I will rename it to one. But I will add one more parameter, the same name but without one. So we would like to refer, do a reference from key vault within this parameter instead of directly putting the value like this, right? So press control space. You will see this auto handle sense and refer the reference and then refer key vault and then choose the ID of the secret that you would do you would like to refer for this parameter as a value. Now there is a syntax for getting the ID of any secret subscriptions slash subscription id we will replace this with the actual subscription id and then resource groups in which the key vault service is located and here we need to provide resource group name it's not resource group id but we can provide resource group name and then provide us Microsoft vault that's a provider then you have vaults within that vaults you need to provide the name of the key vault service let's copy paste the key vault service name from the Azure management portal this is the key vault service name and then we need to re rename this with the resource group name let's go to overview blade and copy the resource group name and place it here and finally replace this subscription id which is the actual subscription id which is specified here All right, let me make some room here. Now, we have provided the reference. So basically, what are we saying? Refer to this key vault whose IDs is this up to the name of the key vault service. Now, this key vault service might contain many secrets. Right now, we have one secret. We need to refer that here. It's a secret name and we need to provide the name of the secret that we have created. 
So keys or sorry secrets can be found here and I have created a secret called SQL admin password. It contains multiple versions and we can we have already seen the secret value right. Now we need to provide the secret name. So this should be sufficient. Copy this and paste it here. That's it. We don't see any error now. So we can also delete the this one. Put a comma. Save the changes and execute our favorite command for running the bicep scripts. So I would like to run this in dev environment. The scripts will start running. It will take some time. Let me pause the video and come back once it is done. Alright, the deployment is complete. Now let's head over to Azure Management Portal. Now we are going to log in to the database that you have created using this password. So let me copy this and navigate to SQL database and click on query editor and then provide the password and click OK. That's it. We are now able to log into the database with the password which is referred from Key Vault. So that's how you don't hard code the password as a plain text in your infrastructure as code but you should refer them from a secure place which is Key Vault service in Azure. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Come up, come with, come up with another interesting video. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye.